teenagers have a lot of hobbies, but uh, mine are a bit different. That's literally this. Look, look, look. Most of the really. See, uh, I'm a bit of a of a blacksmith, uh, if I can say so myself, an aspiring one on the weekends, if nothing huge. So about a year ago, I believe, my friends and I, uh, I, f I honestly forgot why, but we decided we wanted to start forging stuff. And so we had to find a place to work, and my friend volunteered his backyard. It's basically half destroyed now. There we built up our forge, uh, our anvil stands, and uh, you know, our little table. We got a whole workshop going on there. A drummer from my band decided uh, as a joke to ask me to forge him a drum cymbal. And since, you know, uh, I don't know what a joke is, I took him literally and I told him that if I were to forge him a drum cymbal, he would have to use it at our next performance. And he agreed. <laughs> Before making the official symbol, I decided uh, I would need some practice, so uh, I, I already made some symbols. Alright, uh, the first one used to be like a plate with a hole in it, and I thought that was pretty perfect, so I hammered out a, a little bell, and made some dents in it, and here's how it sounds. Here's the second symbol I made, it's basically the same thing, just a bit bigger. This was um, grinded from an aluminum sheet, and I just sanded off the edges. And, uh, oh yeah, I drilled a hole. And here's how it sounds. A bit better. So I didn't want to give my friend those garbage homemade ones. And, uh, like some people make on the internet and, like, I just showed you. So I decided I needed an actually good metal. And the best metal for this is B20 bronze, which is an alloy of tin and copper. Tin is unreasonably expensive. And since I've never actually made an alloy before, I've never done casting. Uh, I would need some practice. Back at the forge, all we really had was a propane forge. We didn't have like those actual cru crucible, crucibles, I, I don't know what they're called, the, the crucible forges in the ground. So we had to turn the propane forge on its side and put it on some bricks. And uh, we put the crucible inside and uh, honestly it, it barely fits but uh, it was working. Yeah also don't do this at home, your propane forge won't thank you because ours didn't. We had to reco all of the concrete after this, it all fell off. To make the crucible hotter, we decided to raise it using some gravel that uh, we found in my friend's backyard. This worked, except after we turned the forge off, uh, we discovered that all the gravel had melted and we basically created obsidian, which had fused uh, to the bottom of, of our forge. Yeah, that, that's one of the reasons our forge didn't thank us. My friend actually found some copper wires and uh, we were stripping those for a while and we actually got a decent amount of copper. And, uh, you know, copper is pretty good because it has a very low melting point compared to other steels. And so when we put it in, it actually started melting. Like, I did not expect that. And I've never seen actually liquid metal in real life before, and so this was kind of sick. And we were ready to start casting. Originally, I was gonna cast, like, a banana or something. But then I decided, and my friends also told me that it looked kind of stupid. So we decided to instead cast this kind of jewelry little hammer that my friend found. First cast was an absolute disaster and that's because we had underestimated how much copper wire we had actually melted. So we had to put it back but we were running out of propane so when we went in for the second cast like 80% of the copper still wasn't melted which, which wasn't really good. The second cast was still kind of scuffed but it was definitely much better and I'm pretty sure it actually kind of looked like a hammer so that was a plus. We put the crucible back and had to turn off the propane because, well, we basically didn't have any left. So yeah, the hammer mold actually turned out way better than expected because, you know, it actually looked like a hammer. And uh, I went to the belt sander to grind it down and, you know, ma make it look nice and shiny. But I actually sanded off a bit on the hammer head, so now it kind of looks like a pea shooter. I don't know if you can see it. So for a first ever cast, I'll definitely consider this successful. And uh, so far, this is all we've really done because after this, you know, we we've had like a bunch of school you know my friends have been away for the weekends and whatever definitely as soon as we get an actual like good forge going because we're never using the propane forge for that again then uh, my friend's building a coal forge then after we get that we can definitely start casting the actual alloy and then after we get the alloy then i can actually start forging my symbol so i guess look out for that 
this is a more of a vlog type video uh if you guys enjoyed it you know let, let me know subscribe you know i, I need, to, need to feed my cat uh, all right go do some push-ups bro you know that, that's what a blacksmith would do they're buff as hell let's go <laughs>